Welcome! In this video, I'll teach you how to make your visual novel look more interesting simply by using the twin behavior. Please note, we're gonna be using the dialog tree system for this one, specifically the command line type. So if you don't know how to do that already, you better check out my series on this called How to Make Visual Novel with GDevel. It's a three-part video series that'll teach you pretty much all that you need to know on how to use the dialog tree system to make a visual novel with GDevel. Let's start by adding the twin behavior on the objects that we're going to animate. I'm going to show you three different animations in this tutorial. Fade in, tilt, and shake. Of course, there are many more animations you can make. Just take this video as a stepping stone, you know, to learn the basics so you can create something more advanced by yourself. Also, I'm gonna be cheating a bit here because we're not going to use the twin to shake the image. Instead, we'll use an extension called Shake Object made by Victor's Games. So make sure to install that extension and add the behavior into your object. Now, we're going to edit the dialog data and place the commands on whatever you want the animations to play. These are custom commands, so you can name them whatever you want, but I'm just gonna use simple descriptive names so it's easier to remember. Also, make sure you make two commands for each animation to turn them on and off like fade in, fade out, and tilt on, tilt off. Okay, I've added all three animation here, the fade in, tilt, and shake. I want Billy here to fade in at the beginning of his dialogue. To do that, we'll create an event, add condition, command called, fade in. Next, add the action, click the object, twin opacity, I'm just gonna call this opacity to opacity so the number here goes from 0 which is invisible to 255 which is completely visible I want him to appear on the screen so 255 easing here refers to the way that the speed of a transition is varied over time you can check the website easings.net to see what all these different easings will look like duration in milliseconds I'll do 500 so, this event will make Billy fade into the screen. But the issue is he's already visible from the beginning. So to fix that, we'll copy this action, then go to this event with the beginning of the scene condition, change the opacity to 0 and the duration to 1. Okay, let's test this out now. Okay, you can kinda see Billy flashing out at the beginning, but you get what I mean, right? Again, this is gonna be some basic example. The point is, now you know how it works. Let's continue with the tilt on and tilt off. Make a new event, just like before. Command called. Tilt on. Action. Object. Twin angle. Let's call this tilt. 2 angle minus 20. Easings, I'll go with ease out back. Duration 500. Duplicate the event. Change command to tilt off. And angle to zero. Let's preview now. Okay, it works. Lastly, the shake. Make another event with the same condition. The command will be shake on. Action is Oh, I forgot to give Billy the behavior. Okay, let's do that real quick. Now give him the action shake object. Duration here doesn't matter, because we're gonna make him shake until we manually stopped him. 
amplitude positions, I'll do 10 pixels for both X and Y axis. I'll put the angle of rotation and time between shake to zero. Keep shaking until stop, yes. Now copy the event but change the command. Then change the action to stop shake. Preview. There you go. Everything works just fine. Like I said before, there are many more animations that you can do with the twin behavior. So go on ahead, experiment by yourself. That's it for this video. Hope you enjoy. Click over here to see more tutorials.